Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 if you're truly loaded into the mad. High load of process, orbit of the spiffening, level 27 boxes madman, good as I get to the 13 and all around noodle guy. Now last time I failed and since then there has been some glitchiness with uh, mods and stuff so I had to try and rehaul some of the customization. I had to reinstall the game last uh, Wednesday because uh, all mods just stopped working and so a lot of people lost their patents, tattoos, haircuts, stuff like that and uh, I did my best to restore everything to a, you know, usable degree. Uh, this time we are once again doing not quite equal but we are doing a training roulette. Which means that people don't get the same skills at the same time? I think. Or it's just that uh, each game is a little bit different. And what's this? Instead of having the full set of all specializations, so there's only s s some randomly chosen. There's a bit of a grammar there. But I think these three are fine, unless there was something else that we were also using before that I have now forgotten. No, I think that's fine. I'm taking a skirmish this time because uh, we've had a fair amount of uh, alternative already. So I'm taking these again, including the Lost Towers because there was apparently something about being able to use Julian afterwards. Uh, that uh, Shen told me after I had finished recording, so that caught my interest. Plus the fact that if I remember to actually bring a single soldier with Shredder, that situation would have gone a completely different thing. The whole mission would have gone differently if I had anyone with Shredder around, which I did not, because I did not think of that at all. Anyway, now we are back to blowing up a statue or a stage or something else depends on how this game decides to house us this time now that we've got a foothold it's time to take the fight to advent we're heading into the city center to take down a public target something that will get people's attention neutralize any security forces in the area keep your heads down Alright, we have Vivan, Froy, uh, Lulu, and Null. Null is a doll boy because he's supposed to be a giant mech. Once again, we have no we visual on the enemy yet. Uh, Froy, take the risk. Looks good. Move, move, move. I think we're fine. There's some soldiers. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, but see, here's my idea. Uh, yeah. That's affirmative. Get up there. Let's hope there's no civvies on the roof. Menace one five. Good. You're near the target position. You have eyes on the enemy. I'm can I have you overwatch? By when how far up can you go? That's far en high enough. And you are also going to overwatch. And Lucy? On the move. Can get high enough as well. Scanning. And then we are going to grapple null into the same spot. Apparently there's a civilian on the other platform that I did not previously notice. 
And we are gonna stop start firing me. I mean. Concealment has been lost, we just fired at the enemy. And if we're lucky, the three additional shots from this will also be enough to kill some enemies. By the numbers. A perfect ambush. Moving on target. Well, the direction of the next enemy group has been revealed to us, so. Roy bounce down, activate them. And then we will react from that. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or strict mind control. Oh you apparently have a flank on someone because they won't move for some reason. Did you see that one? That I don't really have a problem with that, to be honest. Alright, no there's problem, the next boss. cover you can move into. See if you can take out the lost trooper. Done. Well, Let's see if you can start firing at the... Alternatively, let's try this out. It will probably work. Because justice is quite reliable like that. And if the officer doesn't die from this, Lucy has him next turn. Bam. Secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. All right, Froy, you get the honor because you're over Whatever here already. You this went very smooth. It's like I've done this mission a few times already. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. But, not really, this one went incredibly well. And these poses are immaculate. The only problem I have is that that trooper is also giant, because Snull is giant. So it's a battle of the giants, where... A classic uh, showdown. Peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders, trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. That's a very positive attitude there, sir. But I really want to know. If not, I'll also level up. And I want to know if uh, the. And a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Um, something went wrong here. I, I think the game did us a weird. Okay. Uh. Lucy is a sysadmin, a former cyber hacker working with the government against armor piece and plus 10 defense against mechanical enemies and plus 10 hacking on hacking missions. Enemy damage is reduced when in cover and attacked through that cover. High cover reduces damage by 1, low cover reduces damage by 1. Also grants 5 mil. Grants 1 free smoke grenade item to your inventory. So, I think Lucy is gonna have to be a specialist. Okay, Sentinel has the Sentinel skill quite low down, but the Ever Vigilant is quite the early available. But we want to know about hacking. Haywirebot.com, available very early. 
That is combat protocol. And those are, I think, some we want uh, to know about. Cool. Interference sounds like fun. Though, on the other hand, combat protocol does the same thing. But, you know. I guess it's fine. Alright. You're not good. Yeah, you're getting weird, mo weird morphism as well. Uh, what profession? They won't say. Overwatch sh shot steal plus 25% bonus damage. Uh, that's very professional. Killing an enemy makes the soldier see red and gives them a hunger for more alien blood. That's good. And. Okay, no. Everyone gets their own shuffle. So once ping things start leveling up, I'm gonna have to actually take a look, proper look around as to what anyone can do. And damn good ground, you get an additional plus 10 aim and plus 10 defense against targets at lower elevation. Cool. And Al is a toxicologist. Your poison attack steal plus 2 damage and poison effect steal plus 2 damage per turn. You get a free gas grenade on each mission. You also need toxic rounds, don't you? Uh, grants one free flashbang item in your inventory and the soldier used to be a professional athlete and is still in peak physical condition. While this makes them more agile than our other soldiers, the skill with weapons is lacking. Gain plus free mobility, plus 15. Dodge, minus five aim, minus 10 critical chance. Very well. Oh my god, no, there's a poison sword, isn't there? That I could use. Though I don't know if it's immediately poisoned or if it gets to be poisoned after we have done the upgrade. Death Perception. The cybernetic implant grants 5 aim and reduces enemy's torch by 25 when you are at a higher elevation than your target. That's pretty handy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll... I think we'll open that box. Boxes are cool. After we've done that box, we'll look into modular weapons, because we don't currently have, like, area of some immediate breakthroughs going on. And of course, I do want a medkit. And I want to know if I'm available. I, can manufacture anything we need in I am not on our crew right now. We do have Roy, Lucy, Al, uh, Null, Angie, Infi, Serve, Emma, Root, Brioche, Stacy, Frex, and a random, because there's always a random. Advance got their propaganda machine working overtime. And I'm not immediately available for Aya either. I'm not sure they have to do all that much That's convincing fun. at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom, even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. So that just took a little bit of a delay. Cool, that's fine. Alright, we are here in the skirmisher base. We will now get the skirmisher cutscene of saying, Hey, we are the skirmishers. Look at Null. Null has claws. Commander, which is appropriate so for a cat in a mech. True to their word. A mech their cat. Operative has just relayed the cat coordinates mech. of their acting headquarters here. Which, considering their history, is a big step for them. It'd be worth spending some time here to investigate the area and meet their leader, Betos. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. My kind were once the puppets of Advent, slaves to the Elder's twisted vision. Now, slowly we are freed, and all who see their bonds broken are driven to fight the Elders with a rage that cannot be stopped. By our own hands, we will destroy all that the Elders value. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Oh my god, there was a man that had no head. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll okay, the power coils are in corners. Which is cool. But it's difficult to get to. 
So I may have to do a different uh, thing for it before that. Alright, let's go to the, get some supplies and hope there are no more headless people running around. If there are, well, uh, that's, that's strange. That's strange. Commander, very the strange. Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Another important step forward in our research. Ooh, that, that's nice. Advent magnetic weapons and alien plasma weapons. Just a little bit of uh, begin on your order, Commander. a little something, something to stop those from having an immediate effect, which is which is handy. Well, an effect will be immediate, but it will be reduced. Is what I meant to say. Yeah, that one. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research. So much so, that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. Do I go for it? Oh, I fine. That is an important task, Commander. It's the first month, the first month goes by so quickly anyway, and having magnetic weapons by the end of it is, I believe, quite valuable. Plus, considering the fact that there is a scientist we can pick up just from right here, that's, that's gonna sort us out pretty good. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. On the plus side, it's not a general. And it rewards an engineer. Let's go for it next time. Thanks for watching, and shout.